Good news, you join me on my roof because I'm finally having something done that I've wanted for years. Yep, I'm having solar panels installed. Now, I've wanted solar panels for years and years, but they've always been too expensive, but not anymore. Because in the last decade alone, the prices of solar panels have fallen by about 80%. So you'd be mad not to install them. So I'm going to get out of these guys' way, get back down on the ground, I'll show you the solar panels I'm getting, and why I've chosen the system I've chosen. And these are my solar panels. Look at these shiny little bad boys. Can't wait to get these things up. Now, let me tell you why I've chosen this size system and what size system I've got. Now, the first thing I did was I called around. That's what you should do. Get some quotes from different companies. There is no shortage of solar installers in New Zealand right now. And all of them suggested I go with a five or six kilowatt system for my energy usage. Because they will look at your bill, they'll see how much electricity you're using at particular times of the day and suggest the right size system. And about five Five or six kilowatts was ideal for me, but everyone on the internet told me get more. So I went for a 9.7 kilowatt system, which is maybe more than I need, but hey, too much of a good thing is good, right? So I got a quote from both Solar Zero and Endless Energy. Now both companies were really easy to work with. Solar Zero I went with first. They're brilliant, they're a big crowd, a Kiwi favorite. Made everything really streamlined, really easy. I gave them a copy of my power bill. They went through everything with me step by step, answered all my stupid questions, and I had a lot of stupid questions. They made it a piece of cake. Now one of the reasons Solar Zero is so popular is they've got a couple of install payment options. First of all, the big one is you pay nothing, which obviously sounds pretty tempting, right? So they'll rock on up, they'll install the entire solar system with a battery, and you pay nothing. It's solar as a service. So your power bill will be greatly reduced to, well, near nothing, but you don't have to pay any money up front. You're in a contract for, I think it's 25 years, or if you don't like that, you just buy the entire system outright, like most solar installs. And that's the option I went with when I got my quote for Solar Zero. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that all Solar Zero systems come with a battery. Now, that normally is a really, really good thing for most Kiwis, right? So during the daytime when you're away, your solar panels are putting energy into the battery. So when you get home, you use it at nighttime when it's peak time. I'm an odd case because in my case, most of my power usage is during the day. I'm charging lots and lots and lots and lots of electric cars all the time. And I'm running the heater because I normally work from home. So you can see in my case, a battery doesn't really make much sense. That's why I went with a different company called Endless Energy. Now, Endless Energy don't only do residential solar. This is one of the reasons I really like them because they're completely flexible. They'll do residential small scale solar. They'll do large residential. They'll also do massive commercial projects as well. And if you want a battery, sure, they'll quote you a battery. If you don't want a battery, fine. They won't give you a battery. Completely flexible. That's what I liked about them. They gave me an idea of a system that should work with me, but I said, no, give me more panels. Give it to me all. So they've given me a 9.7 kilowatt system. That's the quote I went with without a battery because that works for me. Now the best thing about the endless energy quote is not only was it really really cost effective, that's for a 9.7 kilowatt system, but that also includes the price to replace my one million year old power board that was installed when Noah was just a boy. So I couldn't say no to that. I mean $18,000 for a 9.7 kilowatt array plus the replacement of a power board. Endless energy, loving that. Okay I'm gonna let the guys get set up then I'll go and ask them some really stupid questions. So this is DeWald, he's the manager, right? You're the site manager, you're actually the business director. Director, yep. Okay, so what's the hardest part of installing solar panels on a roof? I, I think the terrain on the on the roof. Uh, sometimes you get it with a quite a big pitch or... Is, is, that, is that a good roof? Yeah, is... this one is nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> that I like to hear. Uh, okay. It doesn't have that uh, steep of a, of a pitch and it's not slippery or anything. The elevation of the roofs are sometimes difficult, uh, especially with putting up the rails and things. So where do you start? What's the first step? Oh, you start with the rails obviously your planning is, is your first part um, but the, the installation starts with either the the rails and um, putting it down the rails and then uh, you know starting to, to install your panels and then from there on you can move down to the inverters and all the cabling that goes with it. How long does a typical install take? How many hours or days? Oh, it takes about two to three days depending on the terrain and the weather conditions and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, it looks, it started <laughs> off sunny and it was a bit overcast. What happens yeah. if it rains? You just... Oh no, then, then it, we all we all come down, bring everything down, clear everything up, people can get out. Okay. Health and safety is, is, is a big thing for us. What's a common question that, that, that customers would ask you? Where's the cables going to run? 
Oh, that's How a good point. <laughs> How are you going to run the cables? <laughs> see, see, this is why I have. <laughs> so, so obviously the cables will come through the roof and then uh, you know run either through the pitch of the roof mm -hmm. inside and then just drop down to the inverter. Okay. Yeah. So you, sometimes you can do that. Sometimes you can run it on the outside of the house and then go into the inverter. Sometimes people put the inverters outside. We're in a bit of a recession right now. How's business going? Are people installing a lot of solar? Um, it is picking up a little bit, okay. so that's good. It's good for business. Um, people are looking into it and looking at the investment and looking at the future, getting green energy. The solar market is growing quite a bit. So yeah, business is is picking up. Okay, yeah. good. Because I've been told that it's it's like having 20, 25 years of free power, but you've got to pay a bit up front. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like the sound it, of that. So. It's like a rebate system, obviously, so you get some of it back through the years. You know, as you go on, you, you pay it off, basically. All right, well, I'll let the guys get back into it, and then when the inverter arrives, I want to ask you some more stupid questions. Awesome, man. All right. No problem. In the meantime, the solar panel guys have been putting the panels up on my roof. Look at that, 9.7 kilowatts of hydrogen fusion energy collectors. As you can see behind me, the power board is being replaced. The inverter is on. We're going to talk about that in a sec. In the meantime, we've had a little bit of a hiccup, and now I've been told that my meter meter box has to move from the inside of the house to the outside of the house. And the downside is that's an extra cost. And it's something worth considering if you have an older house like this and you need to get sold, you may have to incur the cost of moving your power box to the outside. It depends on where you are and what the rules are. The company that looks after the grid outside my house is called The Lines Company and they say that's, that's their rules. Now, the good news is, is that they've been really accommodating and normally there's a one to two week lead time, but they've come out here like that and there's a guy installing it right now. So we can get this house back online live today and then we'll come back to this and I'm gonna ask some stupid questions about what this big box thing is. All right, good news. We've got the system live. Everything's connected. Okay, so Dewald, tell me, please, what is this? <laughs> well, this is your household inverter, 7.5 kilowatt um, hybrid inverter. What does it actually do? You've got the solar panels on top of your roof yep. that's generating power, and it feeds it into the inverter box. Okay, so that's DC coming DC, from the solar panels? DC from the panels, yes. And then this converts the, the DC power into AC power, and then feeds that back to your normal household. So, so 7.5 kilowatts. Yeah. The limit to the grid, though, is... 5 kilowatts. You can okay. only push back 5 kilowatts back to the grid. That's your allowance. Okay. Right? And you've got then 2.5 kilowatt that you can use in your house. Okay. If you still want to push on a nice sunny day, 5 kilowatt to the grid, 2.5 in your house. Okay, so I can't legally send back to the grid yet, right, until it's got official inspection is that right yeah yeah so okay. the inspectors come in they're going to have a look at it for the installation we're going to coc sign it off uh, and one thing i want to point out is i mean you saw the before shots look at this work of art that they've created there's they've even put a panel in here this i mean gone is the ancient old fuse wire thing now we've got this beautiful switchboard with rcds they've even put in look a little timer for my hot water cylinder so now the hot water cylinder is only going to run during the day when the sun's up so I get free hot water. I mean, this is fantastic. This, I, I'm yet to see the downside. I mean, well, stay tuned because the first power bill is going to come and we're going to look at it and see how much money we've saved and if it's worth it financially. I'm excited now, but that excitement may wane. Stay tuned. Good news. This is Martin from Endless Energy. He's come down to check out the final sign-off the installation of this thing is now it's now running. What's it doing? Yes. For the people that don't really know much about solar, it's grabbing the, the sun rays, turning it into, into power for the house. And right now you can see we're doing 6.8 kilowatts. 6.8 kilowatts. The sun is shining right now and that is, that's free electricity because we've got right behind us, there's the Evnex charger, which is now putting electricity straight from the solar panels into the car, in the garage, so it's not taking anything from the grid, right? Yes, right now your, uh, your, your car's charging, you've got appliances running, and you're feeding back power to the grid. So you're literally doing absolutely everything in this house yes. from the sun. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so run me through the mobile app. What are we looking at right now? So the mobile app is showing you exactly what you're doing on, from the solar panels, which is 6.57 kilowatts. Um, it's, that's amazing. It's telling you that the house at the moment is doing 5.6 kilowatts and uh, you're, you're generating a little bit more than what you, you need in the house, so you're feeding back to the grid just under a, a kilowatt of, of power. That's brilliant. Okay, so as for the system, I put in like 9.7 kilowatts. Is that, is that a lot? Yes, for, <laughs> for your house, because uh, you're a single occupant, what we did is we spec the house according to what you really wanted, and you can see now that you're running exactly what you wanted during the daytime. Uh, upon our first meeting, this is what you, you wanted, and you're, you were right. <laughs> I just gotta you say, right. yeah. I'm a very satisfied customer yes. right now, seriously. I mean, we've got energy coming out of thin air, going straight into the car. Apart from road user charges, 
I'm driving for free. Yep. It's like, yeah. why wouldn't you do this? Well, we may get to that in the next video, because in the next video, I'm going to get my first power bill, and we're going to see if it's all worth it. So stay tuned, hit subscribe. We'll see you in the follow-up video. And there you have it. That is my solar panel install in a nutshell. Honestly, the whole thing's been a piece of cake. Like from the initial quotes to actually getting these panels installed right here on my roof, a fortnight, that's it. And the guys did beautiful work. I mean, you saw the workmanship they did. They made a light work of replacing my ancient power box with something pretty. Even these solar panels, it took these guys a lot of goes going back and forth trying to move these panels around to get them flat because my roof is a bit turbulent. It's like a lot of 60 year old roofs, you know, it's, it's, it's got that coming into Wellington turbulence. Uh, but they did a beautiful job. The only hiccup in the entire operation was the lines company making me move my power meter to the outside of the house. That's probably added about one year to the total payback time. I've been told that's a really unusual thing to move that power meter, but hey, the sun's coming up. But do check with your installer to see if you're in for the same cost. Uh, as for total repayment time, well, my first power bill should be coming real soon. Then I'll get to tell you whether or not this was a giant waste of money or if it's actually going to make financial sense. All that's coming real soon. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. See you in the next video.